Have you ever heard of the Nigeria International Business Hub, better known as Echo Atlantic City? If not, then you're about to explore this groundbreaking city emerging from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, adjacent to Victoria Island in Lagos State. This city is designed to cater to diverse needs, encompassing financial, commercial, residential and tourist accommodations, all infused with infrastructure that aligns with modern and environmental standards. Beyond its local significance, Echo Atlantic serves as a magnet for investors seeking to capitalize on large development spurred by high demand, an enticing gateway to the continent's emerging markets. Join us on a captivating journey into the future of Africa with Echo Atlantic City. Explore the $6 billion megacity rising from the sea, uncover its innovative origins, and witness the rapid transformation of this groundbreaking international business hub. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's start with what led to the construction of the city. Back in 1905, the port of Lagos was thriving with trade, but a challenge emerged. The channel leading to the existing port was too shallow for large ships. Frustrated port authorities devised a solution. Constructing sea walls on both sides of the channel and dredging the middle to allow passage for bigger vessels. By 1912, the project was completed, resolving the issue, and ships could smoothly navigate the waters. However, this fix came with unintended consequences. The sea walls disrupted the natural ocean flow, hindering the movement of sand that had been naturally replenishing the West African coastline for thousands of years. This disruption triggered an erosion crisis, causing the coastline to recede by 25 to 30 meters annually. The relentless advance of the Atlantic Ocean brought it dangerously close to the streets of Victoria Island. Efforts to counteract the erosion, including attempts to replenish lost coastlines through sand filling, proved unsuccessful. In 2005, a heavy rainstorm made the situation worse washing away half of the Amadu Bello coastal road into the sea. The urgency to protect Victoria Island became more apparent than ever. A more substantial and innovative solution was imperative to shield the island from the impending threats of floods and erosion. Rather than confining the solution to a defensive structure, the engineers suggested constructing a wall along the original coastline which led to the birth of the Echo Atlantic City. Now let's take a look at the Great Wall of Lagos. This protective sea wall, stretching 8.5 kilometers in length and standing at an impressive 9 meters high, is a robust structure designed to endure the most severe storms, as confirmed by test reports from the Danish Hydraulic Institute in Copenhagen. Comprising three distinct layers of rocks and acropodes, each layer serves as a buffer against various potential effects of wave action. At the base of the sea wall, hundreds of thousands of rocks, ranging from half a ton to two tons in weight, create a solid foundation. As a protective shield for this layer, smaller rocks weighing three to five pounds serve a crucial drainage function to manage overspray caused by intense wave impact. To enhance the defense, X-shaped acropodes, each weighing five tons and cast on site, interlock to form a continuous structure along the wall. Currently, approximately 63,000 acropodes have been strategically placed along 6,750 meters of the constructed wall. This engineering marvel exemplifies resilience against extreme weather conditions and showcases meticulous design to address diverse challenges posed by the relentless force of ocean waves. Let's have a look at how the project is advancing. Echo Atlantic is swiftly transforming into a reality, with 65% of the planned 10 square kilometer development area already reclaimed. Impressively, 70% of this reclaimed land has already been sold. 
The progress of the infrastructure reflects the city's momentum, with Phase 1 nearly 90% complete, Phase 2 around 70% and Phase 3 at 20%. Alpha 1, the pioneering office building, was completed in 2016. The iconic Echo Pearl Towers, the city's first residential building, welcomed its initial residents in 2018. The Azuri Peninsula, a trio of towers situated on the marina's edge, is nearing completion, with two designated for residential use and one as an office complex, scheduled for completion by the end of 2024. What sets Echo Atlantic apart is the deliberate, meticulous design and construction process. Every detail is carefully considered, from individual plots to roads, drainage systems and footpaths, down to the selection of stones used in various parts of the city. Echo Boulevard, the vibrant central business district of the city, is ingeniously designed to host an eight-lane road a spacious 14-metre-wide pedestrian walkway adorned with LED streetlights, trees and soaring towers of 30 floors or more flanking both sides. The city's architectural vision encourages developers to incorporate cantilevers into buildings, serving as protective shelters over the pedestrian walkways. To counter the damage of floods triggered by heavy rainfall, Echo Atlantic boasts an extensive flood prevention system. Spanning the entire length of the city is an 18-metre-wide, 3-metre-deep canal, complemented by a network of strategically placed storm drains designed to channel excess rainwater or groundwater by gravity into the canal, eventually leading it back to the sea. Beyond its flood prevention role, the canal also serves as a transportation corridor within the city. This integrated water infrastructure not only addresses potential flooding issues, but also enhances the city's connectivity and appeal as a waterfront urban centre. What is the impact of this project? The creation of this megacity stimulates job opportunities, impacting thousands of Nigerians both directly and indirectly. Each day brings a bustling influx of trucks making rounds to and from the city, transporting essential construction materials. The rocks for the seawall, sourced from quarries in Ibadan, Oyo State, undergo a journey to reach the city. Likewise, concrete poles for streetlights find their origin in a factory located in Ibadan. Notably, the production of acropodes, drainage systems and sewage pipes is a dynamic on-site process, requiring skilled workers and a substantial workforce. In a Business Insider interview in 2018, Ronald Chowgary Jr., Vice Chairman of Echo Atlantic, revealed that the development project relies heavily on local talent. Approximately 95% of the workforce involved in Echo Atlantic is Nigerian with 90% of the tasks executed by either Nigerian companies or internal teams specifically assembled for the city's development. This commitment to utilising local expertise not only fuels economic growth, but also fosters a sense of ownership and pride among the community, contributing to the realisation of this ambitious urban venture. And there you have it a glimpse into the extraordinary development of Echo Atlantic City. What are your thoughts on this city in Africa? Share them in the comment section below. Don't forget to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Stay tuned for our next exploration into fascinating developments. Until then, stay inspired and informed.